Kylian Mbappe was beaming with joy after netting his first goal in Spanish football, leading Real Madrid to a 2-0 victory over Real Betis. This performance marked a turning point for Mbappe, who was experiencing a great moment by scoring at what he called a legendary stadium, the best in the world. His goals broke a frustrating streak of three La Liga matches without finding the net, which he admitted felt like a long time for him. Heading into the international break, Mbappe managed to lift the weight off his shoulders by ending his goal drought in La Liga. The French forward's double against Real Betis not only secured a crucial win for Real Madrid but also earned him the Man of the Match award. Reflecting on his performance, Mbappe shared, It was a great moment. I had been hoping to score in this legendary stadium, which I consider the best in the world, he said as quoted by Mundo Deportivo. However, the most important thing was the victory. After our match against Las Palmas, it was essential to win. It was a tough game, but we are Real Madrid, he added. Describing his first La Liga goal, Mbappe said, the play started with Brahim, continued with Rodrigo, and then there was a touch from Valverde that was just incredible. I can't even describe what he did. I was there at the right moment, felt the ball was coming my way, and I managed to put it in the back of the net. Valverde's past is almost everything, the goal. The first thing I thought about when I scored was whether it was offside. Mbappe also expressed his gratitude for the support he has been receiving from the fans and the club. I feel great here. I've said it since I arrived. I'm happy. The fans and everyone at the club have shown me a lot of affection, even when I wasn't scoring. For some players, three games without a goal might not seem like much, but for me, it felt like a lot. Still, the support from the club and the fans has been incredible. It gives me the confidence to give my all for this club and its badge, he explained. Before this match, Mbappe had only managed to score once in an official game, which was Real Madrid's second goal in their European Super Cup victory against Atalanta. There was an added pressure on him to perform, especially as he is seen as a major contender to rival Robert Lewandowski in the race for the Pichichi Trophy. Lewandowski, revitalized under Hansi Flick's management, has already scored four goals in four games. Despite the pressure, Mbappe was thankful for the trust placed in him during his goalless run. From the moment I arrived, I felt very happy. The people here have shown me so much support, even when the goals weren't coming. Three games without scoring might not seem like much to some, but for me, it felt like a lot. The club, my teammates, and the fans have all stood by me. My aim was to remain confident and start scoring goals for this club in its crest, he said. With his goal drought now behind him, Mbappe is focused on maintaining his scoring form to help his team. Since the first day of my presentation it has been a dream to be here, I hope to score more and get more applause. A lot has been said about Mbappe's chemistry with Vinicius Jr. and how the duo has yet to achieve the optimal level. Regardless of the talk, though, Mbappe says it is natural for the critics to talk. People talking about me and Vinicius. It's okay. We are young and famous, it's normal for people to talk. The coach says that we, he and Vinny, both take the penalties. I don't want to force things, that's not my mentality. Furthermore, when asked about his preferred playing position, the Frenchman said, my position. I can move. The important thing is to know how to move. I played like that a bit in Paris. I can play in all three attacking positions. Lastly, Mbappe also shared his thoughts on comparisons with Cristiano Ronaldo, saying, I don't feel the pressure of being Cristiano's successor. I don't think about Cristiano, with all due respect to him. Cristiano is my idol, yes. But no, I don't want to follow anything. I don't want that pressure. I want to be Kylian. I only have the pressure of having to adapt to the team, he concluded. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.